Excuse me, Mrs. Johnson's delivery. Can I go now? Bridget. Yes, I made a fresh pot of coffee and I swept the floor. Can I go now? You could just about run this place without me, huh? <laughs> Don't even think about it, Dad. This place is not my idea of having a life. Small town, small lives. Well, maybe someday you realize it's not so bad. All right, Dad. Let's just say I think there's more to life than this. Well, maybe. Listen, I need you to make one last delivery for me. Another delivery? Dad, I already made a delivery. It's Christmas Eve. I shouldn't have to be making deliveries on Christmas. I, I, I already told Mike I made him at the firehouse. You working on your jump shot? Yeah, I guess. Good. Practice, practice, practice. But this won't take very long. Do I have to? I sure would appreciate it. Fine. The bag's on the counter, and Mrs. Patrick's address is in the cash register. Why don't you just put the store on computer, Dad? I live in, like, the Flintstones. How should I collect? Uh, there's no charge on this one. Charge? This is just cat food and candy. You're not supposed to question the customer's orders. You just deliver it. And afterwards, hustle on over the pageant. Mom's expecting you to try on your costume. I don't want to be in the pageant this year, Dad. Where's your Christmas spirit, Billy? I forgot to buy it on the Home Shopping Network. <laughs> That's very funny. Harry, oh, am I glad you're still here. You're just the man I'm looking for. Look at this. Look at 50 new signatures on the petition. Oh, I'd like to see him try to get in here now. It's just a rumor, Mr. Chalmers. You're just worrying about it too much. Oh, yeah? You saw what happened over there in Melville when they let them build that value mall. Well, half the small stores had to close. You're worrying way too much. Now, get on over here and have a cup of coffee. We're brewing hazelnut. Oh, it's not his favorite. Keep practicing, son. You'll get it. <laughs> Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! Oh, Christmas! <laughs> Go. Good game, you guys. Hey, Billy, get in here. We need you. It's 2020. Yeah, come on, What do you Billy. need him for? Hey. Barry got a couple of girls be cheerleaders. <laughs> oh, don't worry. I won't hold that against you. Here. Losers out. See what you got, man. Gee, foul! It's contact sport. Deal with it. Nice. Okay. All right, come on. Open. Let's go! Guarding away oh, makes a shot. Shoot it! Shoot it! Do it. Do it. Shoot. You can do it, Billy. Do it. <laughs> See, he doesn't have a shot. A little out of your league, aren't you? Yeah. Nice try, Billy. Don't worry. You get him next time. Shoot, man. Shoot. Billy, guard him. Guard him, Billy. Oh. And he scores. That's 21 and game. Well, I gotta hand it to you. You are the Dennis Rodman of Greenwood Falls. <laughs> Well, I do have the rebounds. No, I just think you'd look a little more natural in a dress. <laughs> <laughs> Joey, come on. Good try. I hate that guy. I hate basketball. I'm never playing that stupid game again. Hey, you could have made that shot easy. Don't let Joey get to you. No, I hate that guy. He totally doesn't deserve Diane. She's gonna realize what a jerk he is soon enough. Oh, yeah, right. And she's gonna beg me to be her boyfriend. 
Yeah, in a perfect world. Don't go far, you're next. Hi, Mike. Hi, Miss Jackson. Look, Mom, I already told Dad I don't want to be in the pageant this year. Well, it's a little late for that. You're the narrator. That's very important. Hold on, let me All right, just get right some on the snowman. Right, keep it steady. Don't spill it. Isn't Joey stage manager this year? Parlano. Great. Uh, Mom, I'll be right back. I'm almost ready for you. doing up it's almost midnight i think i heard santa that's just mr kelly across the street he drinks a little too much dresses up like santa and lets his horse pull around town for a couple of days are you sure <sighs> look out the window jingle bell jingle bell jingle all hey oh what fun it is right in the oh that's like can I sleep with you? Oh, Sarah, I thought you were over this. There's something under my bed. I heard it. This is the last night. I pinky swear it. There's nothing under your... Okay, fine. One more night. Huh? Do you think Santa will come? If he comes every year, Sarah, he'll come this year and I go to sleep so we can get here. Ha <laughs> Hey, Billy. I think I heard Santa out in the front lawn last night. <laughs> Let's go take a look. Well, look at this. Now we can practice your jump shot. Thanks, Dad. That's great. Merry Christmas, Mr. Chalmers. What's merry about it? I hate Christmas. Well, Molly made you some Christmas cookies. I'll have Sarah bring them over to you. Yeah? Fine. Just don't forget to remind that brother of yours that we're not letting him back into this town just to destroy us. That must be rough being so lonely. Not a scratch. 
Fifty grand before tax and license and worth every penny. Yeah. I'll have it fixed by five o'clock. Our Christmas Day? Everybody has their price, Billy. Remember that? You'll be driving one of these babies by the time you're 30. Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas. Well, Hey, Jason. Christmas. Merry Christmas. Molly, this was such a good, if not a great idea. Oh, this is way cool. I mean, who'd want to be in Hula Land on Tinsel Day when we could be here instead? Uh, loosely translated? Well, we were supposed to go to Hawaii like we'd planned all year, but you know, this is so much better. That's me. You want to come in and see my new toys? You still get toys? I got a spree in heaven. Gift certificate at the mall. Ah. Well, come on in. It's cold. <laughs> come on, sweetie. Well, Molly, we should have come here in the middle of repairs. We are? Not this day. Dave, I'm so glad that you called, because this is where it should be. Together for the holidays. Couldn't agree more. No, this is a lovely tree. Isn't it pretty? Yeah. It's a I cool. love that. Oh. Molly painted that years ago. <laughs> it's very nice. Thank you. Mega Picasso. Totally Technicolor. <laughs> she likes it too. <laughs> well, two children later, I don't paint oh, much. Tell me about it. <laughs> How much you want for it? <laughs> it's not for sale. All right. I'll give you $1,000 right now. It's not for sale ever. Okay. Fifteen hundred. <laughs> we need three things to play basketball. Practice, practice, practice. Right. Okay, now take a shot. It's, uh, it's a good effort. Okay, look. Tuck My your elbow's up. not the problem. Well, then we'll find the problem. Not now. I, come on, Billy. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one horse open sleigh. Hey! Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one horse open sleigh. <laughs> <laughs> How about Silent Night? Oh, Wait, just a bullet's game on. What time? Hey, 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 it's Christmas. Oh. I'm your Uncle Dave and I've been singing Christmas carols ever since we were... It's a, it's a yes, it's yes. season to be Hey, 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 easy. Eggnog. Cookies? Okay, that's good. Okay. Ooh. I'm out of here. Hey, Billy. It's a point spread. And it's Christmas at the arena. Well, hopefully Santa will bring the bullets their Christmas wish and let them win this game. Oh, not another bite. <laughs> Molly, this is the best meal I ever had. What do you call it? Turkey, mashed potatoes, and peas? Peas? Peas must be the secret ingredient. I don't cook much. You know how it is with working mothers. You don't work. You work out. That's not the same thing. Like maintaining a size six is not work. I don't consume anything that can smile. She's a vegetarian. I'll just have the fruit plate. And tell the cook no mango, please. Makes me hurl. JC? Kids. <laughs> well, let's not lose sight of the time. We don't want to be late for the Christmas pageant. Oh, that's right. All right, before we go, I have an announcement. I have a gift for you, big brother. Holy smokes, another one? <laughs> You're going to spoil me. I am about to change your life. I have decided to bring a value mall right here to Greenwood Falls. <laughs> what? I thought that was just a rumor. You can't do that. And here's the best part. I've decided to make you manager of the whole store. You'll triple your salary in no time and you'll be able to move out of here. Well, thanks, but I'm not interested. That's impossible. It's the opportunity of a lifetime. If you bring a value mall here, eh, all the small businesses would go under. It'd change the whole town. Change is growth. Growth is money. Without change, you never make progress. That's something you never understood. I like my store the way it is, the way it was when Dad left it. I like knowing my customers, touching their lives. That's sentimental hogwash. That's why you guys are stuck in Mayberry, and we live in Washington, D.C. We like it here. This is our home. 
Seriously? Yeah, seriously. And it's lovely, but... You, uh, Our lives here are nice, and we like it here. I'm not gonna let you come in here and destroy... You smell, smell like Halloween, did you not? Smell like... No, it smells like Halloween on fire. <gasps> my pies. Oh, oh, oh my... <laughs> Boy, I do love this neighborhood. Hi, hey, Mr. Chalmers. Some neighborhood. He was a miserable old guy even when we were kids. Make a basket. Come on, Billy. If you can. Watch your elbows. Come on, Billy. Shoot, shoot, on, shoot. Go, go, go. Give me a minute. Go, go, go. Give me a minute. Oh, That's okay, son. Nice try, buddy. Okay, come on. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Did you make a guess, son? Yes. 2,459. I hope you're right, sweetheart. We could use the money. They're about to announce the winner. Come on, hurry! Quiet, quiet, quiet. Okay, here we go, everybody. The winner of the Jelly Bean Contest with a guess of 2,456 is Joey Mancuso. Jesus. I don't know why you're being so stubborn. Just take the job. I'm not interested. I remember this. I haven't seen it in years. We were in this when we were kids. Now my kids are in it. That's what it's all about. Family. Growing up in a community. And the baby Jesus was born in the manger, and Mary and Joseph watched over the baby as the animals slept and the angels sang. Snow began to fall on the first Christmas. when you soaked me with a fire hose. You're seven! I had nothing to do with this. This is what you're trying to preserve? This is the town you're so proud of? This is why you don't want to value them all here? Sure is. It sure is. And I can tell you, you're not coming back to this town and destroy it with your lousy store. We've got a petition. Dave. You signed this. What choice did I have? Caroline, get JC. We're out of here! Sarah. 
This is the last night. I pinky swear it. G6. What's wrong, Billy? I hate Christmas. Hope we never have another one. Shh. Sage might hear you. And then he might not come again next year. Yeah. Well, I got news for you, Sarah. There's no such thing as Santa Claus, okay? It's just some stupid lie parents make up to keep you acting good all year. You're wrong. I asked for a doll and I got one. Dolls are for babies. One even just gonna grow up and get a life. I asked Santa Claus for a jump shot. I didn't get one. What does that tell you? Santa doesn't give jump shots. You have to practice. Be logical, Sarah. You really think that one guy can go to millions of houses and deliver thousands of presents in one single night? Come on, even you're not that stupid. You're lying. Santa's real and Christmas is the best day of the year. Yeah, well, think about what happened on this Christmas. Uncle David came, and he decided to bring a Valium all to Greenwood Falls. Do you know what that means? That means that Dad's going to lose the store, and, and we'll have to move out, and nothing will ever be the same again. And then on top of that, i got to clean out the garage for the rest of Christmas vacation. None of that's ever going to happen. You love Christmas so much. You better wish it was Christmas every day. Because after tomorrow, everything changes. Our lives are ruined. Fine. I wish it was Christmas every day. Yeah, good luck. I wish it was Christmas every day. Just go to sleep, Sarah. Say you wish it was Christmas every day. No, it's stupid. Say you wish it was Christmas every day. Fine. Then will you go to sleep? Yes. Fine. I wish you a Christmas every day. It's 7 a.m. on your number one music station in Greenwood Falls. started without you, but Sarah was so excited. <laughs> Look what Santa brought. Okay, what's going on? Hey, Billy. I think I heard Santa out in the front lawn last night. <gasps> Let's go take a look. Oh, my goodness. practice your jump shot. Okay, Dad, if this is about last night, some kind of punishment, I'm really sorry. I didn't mean to ruin the pageant. I'll never do it again. I'm sorry, Dad. What are you talking about? <laughs> Merry Christmas, Mr. Chalmers. What's merry about it? I hate Christmas. <laughs> Molly baked you some Christmas cookies. I'll have Sarah bring them over to you. Yeah? Fine. Just don't forget to remind that brother of yours that we're not letting him back into our town just to destroy us. What's happening, Dad? Why did he just say that again? What are you talking about? What's going on? Am I on America's Funny Home videos or something? Or, or candid camera? What are you talking about? Okay. All right. I get you. <laughs> Where's the camera? What are you talking about? They're back. All right, don't let him bully you again. Stand your ground this time. What? Not a scratch. 50 grand before tax and license and worth every penny. <laughs> well, I was fixed by 5 o'clock. You did that yesterday. What are you talking about? Uncle Dave hasn't been here for months. You know that. Come on, Jason. Get out of the car. We're 
here. Merry Christmas, Merry darling. Christmas. Oh, welcome. Hey, welcome. Jason. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. This was such a good, if not a great, idea. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, come on in. It's cold. Oh, yeah. Come on, sweetie. Sarah, it's just some kind of elaborate punishment about last night because it's really freaking me out. What are you talking about? What did you do last Don't night? Don't you remember when you wished it was Christmas every day? No. What are you talking about, Billy? It works, Sarah. It's Christmas again. You better stop trying to scare me or I'm going to tell Mom and Dad. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride a one horse open sleigh. Next. Oh, how about Silent Night? If the bullets came on, I'm gonna watch it. No, I don't know the points, but no, I don't want eggnog. I give up. And it's Man. Christmas at the arena. Well, hopefully Santa will bring the bullets to their Christmas wish and let them win this game. No! Oh, not another bite. Molly, this was the best meal I've ever had. What do you call it? Turkey, mashed potatoes, and peas. Peas? Peas must be the secret ingredient. <laughs> I don't cook much. You know how it is with working mothers. Okay, why is everyone doing this again? I know what each of you is going to say before you say it. It's like I can read your thoughts. That's part of being a family, knowing each other that well. Uh, let's keep an eye on the time, okay? We don't want to be late for the pageant. That's right. Up well, before we go, I have a gift. For you, big brother. Holy smokes, another He's one? He's bringing a value malt to Greenwood Falls. He told you that yesterday, Dad. How'd you know that? You can't do that. Billy. Without change, you never make progress. It's something you never understood. I like my store the way it is. The way it was when Dad left it. I like knowing my customers. Touching their lives. That's sentimental hogwash. That's why you guys are stuck in Mayberry, and we live in Washington, D.C. Yeah, I love this. Great community spirit. Hi, Mr. Chalmers. That's community spirit. It was a miserable old guy even when we were kids. Yesterday, why would I make it today? Oh, all right, let's all. All right, man. Let's go. Come on. Joy to the world, the Lord is and the angels followed the star to find the baby Jesus. Again. I don't know why you're being so stubborn. Just take the job. I'm not interested. baby Jesus was born in the manger again and Mary and Joseph watched over the baby again and the animals slept again and the angels sang again and everything happened again and everyone was totally confused and scared the white snow began to fall on the first Christmas This has been a really confusing day. Well, 
It has been for all of us, honey. I mean, it was a shock, Uncle David, announcing you wanted to bring a value mall in here. I think your dad is upset as you are. You know, your reaction surprised him. I don't think he knew that you cared that much about the store. What if this all happens tomorrow? It won't, honey. It would take months to even start building the store, and hopefully by then, Dad will talk Uncle David out of bringing it here. What if he doesn't? I have a lot of faith in your dad. Either way, you'll be okay. How do you know? Because I have a lot of faith in you, too. Thanks, Mom. Merry Christmas. I'll see you in the morning, okay? All right. I hope so. It's what, Billy? Say you wish the Christmas was over. It is over. Just say it, or you gotta get out of my room. Fine, I wish Christmas was over. Okay. Good. I will not sleep. Sleep is very bad. Sleep is bad, Billy. You won't sleep. I won't sleep. I won't sleep. It's 7 a.m. on your number one music station in Greenwood Falls. right now immediately this minute it's christmas again i know here open your present no you don't understand it's been christmas every day for the past three days it's like the christmas episode of the twilight zone see i know everything that's gonna happen i'm gonna get a ball well there's no secret there <sighs> and uncle david's gonna come and ruin everything and the pies will burn and the pageant will get ruined and joey will beat me up and i'll have to clean out the garage and there's nothing any of us can do about it We really appreciate you seeing us on Christmas Day, Doc. Well, there's nothing wrong with him physically. There's no infection and no virus. He's fine. Billy's always been one of my favorite kids. Uh, 13 is a difficult age, but it will pass. No, it won't. Gosh, don't you get it? This has nothing to do with hormones or anything. I'll be 13 forever. I'm in some kind of pubertyville. Well, I'm worried about him, Doctor. He was acting absolutely delusional. Don't worry. I see this all the time. Remember now, don't worry. <laughs> Thanks, <Merry> <laughs> Well, seems simple. No Star Trek, Star Wars, X Files, or Goosebumps for three weeks. And no peanut butter or bananas before that. Yeah, that ought to do it. Oh, what fun it is to ride a one horse open sleigh. <laughs> what next? How about Silent Night? Oh, I'm gonna watch the Bullets game. They won by 12, making the point spread by two. Chris Weber scores 30 points and has 12 rebounds. It's not as much fun knowing, but then again, what is? Can you imagine how much money we'd make if he actually knew that? Silent night, holy night. All is calm, all is bright, round young man. So, Billy, uh, how did you know the score? Lucky guess. Next time you're feeling lucky, give me a call. Hi, Mr. Chummers. Merry Christmas! Uh, 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 uh. Yeah. All right, All right, let's go, let's go. Put it up. Put it up. Put it up. Put it up. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. Right there, man. Let's go. Oh, man. Oh, it's oh, it is, man. Make a pass. Billy? Come on, man. I know I'm going to lose. Have Come a little on, confidence, son. Come on, man. Put it up. That's okay, son. Nice try, buddy. Sometimes trying isn't good enough. Huh? Let me see it. Let me see the ball. Hey, I'll, I'll catch up in a few minutes, okay? Well, hurry up. I don't want to be late for the pageant. All right, I'll be there. Billy, what are you doing? I got nothing to lose anymore. Except maybe your life. <laughs> I'm really sick of the way you've been treating me. Oh. Now, you've been mean to me ever since kindergarten. Now it's going to stop. It's not going to continue into the eighth grade. 
If you'll let go of the ball, you're not going to live to finish the eighth grade. Billy, what's up, man? Is everything okay? I know what I'm doing. Hey, Billy, because it's Christmas, I'm going to give you a break. Let you run for your life. No way. I'm never running again. From now on, I make the rules. No, if I want to hold the ball, I'll hold the ball. And if I want to throw the ball at you, I'll throw the ball at you. Whoa. And if I want to walk right up to Diane, who I think is the prettiest girl in the whole school, and kiss her, I will. Oh, no way! What do you think you're doing? You kissed my girlfriend? Oh, him, okay, all right, maybe I went a little too far. But this is just the last day of my life, and there's no consequences. I'm as free as a bird. No one can hurt me. There's no tomorrow. Don't you get it? The only tomorrow is today. <laughs> Come out, you've been under there for hours. I don't care. I may never come out. I'm being forced to live the same day over and over again, and I'm not even good at it. I'm gonna have a black eye till the end of time. What's really wrong, Billy? I told you every single night for days and days, but you never remember. I completely and totally give up. You know, I just, I don't care anymore. Joey will always be able to beat me up and Diane will never even care about me. Why go on? I remember when I was five and I didn't want to go to school because the kids were making fun of me. Because you couldn't read yet. You read me one fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish every night for a whole month. And you memorized it. I pretended I could read it to the class, and then they stopped making fun of me. Yeah, I remember. You knew I would love to read, and I did. You're my big brother. You're too smart to give up. Man, maybe she's right. It's 7 a.m. on your number one music station in Greenwood Falls. Santa Kid, Santa Kid! <laughs> Is this good for me? Of Can I open this one, please? Mom? Let's see who got you. I want to open it. What is it? Santa got this one for you. <laughs> Which is just what I wanted. What would be even better is a hoop to go on with it. Let's just see what we got. Oh, my goodness. Would you look at that? <laughs> Thanks, Dad. Great. Can we shoot some now? Well, I don't see why not. Anxious to get practice in your jump shot, huh? Merry Christmas, Mr. Chummers. What's merry about it? I hate Christmas. How can you say that? Christmas is the best day of the year. Presents. And don't worry, my dad won't let my Uncle David come in and ruin the town. Oh, that's just a rumor, son. That'll never... Not a scratch. 50 grand before tax and license and worth every penny. Will you sign my petition to help stop Value Mall? Thank you. Excuse me, Governor Allen. Could you sign my petition to help stop Value Mall? I'll be happy to. I know all the people here in Greenwood Falls are opposed to it. I really appreciate your great leadership, young man. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Governor. Appreciate it. Merry right. Christmas. Same to you. I got two Bruce Lee's. Shannon. Mm. Molly, this is the most divine meal I've ever had. What do you call it? We call it the best home cooking in the world. Oh, what a nice thing to say. 
All right. What do you say we cut past all the chit chat about waiting and fruit and get to the important stuff? Dad, Uncle David is bringing a volume all to Greenwood Falls and he wants you to run it. Now, we all know that that's not a good idea for you or the town, so stand right up to him and tell him no thank you. All right, who told you? This is Spy and your company. He told me everything. Who is he? Who is he? Well, I tell you, but then I have to kill you. Now, Dad, he's gonna give you a bunch of mumbo-jumbo about progress and growth, but don't buy it. Stick to your guns. Mom, check your pies. Oh. May I? Sure. Dad likes the store just the way it is. The way it was when Grandpa started it. He likes knowing his customers and being a part of their lives. That's right, Billy. That's sentimental hogwash. That's why you're stuck here in Mayberry and we live in Washington, D.C. This is a wonderful... So we're agreed! No value more great! Let's do this again next Christmas. No, wait, 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 wait a second. This is not over. Yeah, I was afraid of that. All right, well, maybe we should just head on over to the pageant and discuss this later. Plan B. And the angels followed the star to find the baby Jesus. Why you're being so stubborn? Just take the job. I'm not interested. There were no superstores in Bethlehem. All the little stores were protected from the big bad conglomerates. And all the angels stood up to their big bad angel bully brothers. And there were only big powerful angels with girlfriends and jump shots. And a light snow began to fall on the first Christmas. Give me that. That's even worse. You put your son up to it. I didn't tell Billy to do anything. What kind of a father are you? He's a wonderful what? father, don't you? Dare. I don't need you to defend me to him. I'll tell you what kind of father. I know exactly what you're doing. It's a petition. No sword, no sword, no sword, no sword. There's a sign by everyone in the town? No sword, no sword, no sword. If they don't want a store, I. Wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. Whose side are you on here? Yours, but if they don't but want what? a store, I you make enough money to support this family kindly. Keep your trap shut. Fine. I'll go back to doing hair and makeup. I was the assassin of Georgetown until you came along. Saved your life? I was good at my job. And I loved it. We got okay, all the screaming is giving me a major migraine. Absolutely. Come on, Jake. Dad, I just thought I'd teach him a lesson. If you would like to apologize to me, I will be at home. Mm -hmm. Mom. 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 I'm sorry. Mom. This is all jealousy. You've always been jealous of me. But jealous of what? My success, of my money. You can't stand the fact that I've done so much better than you. I can't. You, arrogant, little... Oh, look who's talking, you small-town loser. Oh, guys, shut up. Yeah, guys. Oh. I am bringing my store here, and I'm gonna bury you! Oh, I hope it buries all of you! Dave! I just thought I'd make him realize what a bad Dave, idea his store minute. was, Dad! I'm sorry! How could you do something so... so stupid? Let him go! Now. What got into you tonight, son? <sighs> I don't know. I guess I just got sick of Joey bullying me and Uncle David bullying you. Well, bullying the bully isn't the answer, you know that. Yeah. <sighs> I tried to stop Uncle David, but nothing will. He's gonna bring a volume all here no matter what we do. Maybe he should have gone to Hawaii after all. 
It wasn't always like this, you know. We were very close once. When we were kids. But after Grandpa died, I don't know. I stayed. He left. I guess we just grew apart. Hmm. Well, by the way, you're spending the entire day tomorrow cleaning out the garage. You gotta learn there are consequences for your actions. Dad, what was the first present you ever got, Mom? The first? Oh, I... <laughs> a, a cuckoo clock. And how'd you know she'd like it? I asked her mom first. <laughs> good idea. Oops. I had a good idea. <laughs> Are you feeling okay? You have a girl you want to buy a gift for? Yeah, I think so. Mm. Lucky girl. She must be very special. Yeah. I like that. <laughs> what? Seeing you smile. <laughs> Hi, Billy. Sarah, what would you do if you had to live the same Christmas over and over again? I don't know. I guess I get millions of presents, tons of chocolate, no bedtime. I guess I have the most perfect Christmas in the whole world. That's it. Sarah, you're a genius. Really? Yeah, that's the answer. What are you talking about? The most perfect Christmas in the world. <laughs> it's 7 a.m. on your number one music station in Greenwood Falls. Correction, Santa's here. Welcome to the perfect Christmas. <laughs> it's so cool. Yes, I need immediate service, please. The Jackson House. Thank you. Thanks, Dad. Now we can practice that jump shot of mine. <laughs> <laughs> Look. Oh, you're such a good boy. You're such a good boy, aren't right? you? That ought to keep him from feeling lonely. Here we go. so fast. You better just tow them right back to the shop and get them untangled there and bring them back later for dinner. Sure thing. So will I. Nice, nice. Uh, John Wayne. Right. Can I pay when I return? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Great. Slap leather, partner. Hi, this is 
this is Billy Jackson. Um, is this Diane's mother? Hi, um, can I ask you a few questions? Whose car is that? It's my Uncle David's. And he just handed you the keys? Well, he left them in the ignition, which is practically an invitation. And you want me to go with you? You would top off the most perfect day. I can't believe you know how to drive. Oh, there's nothing to it. I've been watching my dad for years. The uh, winner of the Jelly Bean Contest with a guess of 2,450 is Billy Jackson. Oh, yeah. You didn't even know me in the first grade. Yes, I did. You had Mrs. Lucky, and you sat in the front row because you couldn't see very well. And you wore little round glasses, but you hated them. And then you got contacts in the fifth grade which turned your eyes into a beautiful shade of blue. And they make you blink more, but you don't seem to mind. Billy, how did you find this out? I know everything about you. Oh, here. Got you a present. A present? For me? Just a little something. A bracelet with my name on it? I love it. It's just like the one my dad gave me that I lost at school. I just thought it'd make you happy. What do you think you're doing? Whoa. Well, I just came to top off the most perfect day of my life and to give Diane a gift. You gave Diane a gift? Not a smart idea. Whoa. You talking to me? Because, uh, I don't see anyone else around here. Are you talking to me? He's mine! You're dead! Go ahead. Make my day. Let's tangle. You're too crazy. Sweet dreams, Pilgrim. Oh, sorry about the ruckus, sir. Uh, this should cover all my friends. Come on. We're out of here. What? You and me, babe. We're splitting. Why? Because I said so. You're kidding. Oh, no. I never kid, doll. Oh. oh, I thought you were different, but you're not. You're exactly like Joey. But I... You seem like a nice guy, but you're really just a jerk. I do. This is Patrick's delivery. Think very carefully before speaking, young man. The keys to my car. Where have you been? You won't believe me. You never do. Try me. Okay. 
I watched the bullets game, and then I took Uncle David's car, which I recently learned how to drive, and I went for a joyride. Oh, this, this just isn't like you. Not, not even that you've done so many things wrong, but that you would ruin Christmas for your sister and your cousin and for us. I'm sorry, Mom. I'm sorry? Isn't I, I feel really bad, time. but Dad, I gotta... You're grounded. You go to your room. We'll talk about this later. He's lucky. It's fine, no scratches. <sighs> you know, you're fooling yourself if you think you know your kids. Probably in a gang. Oh, oh I don't David. think so. But, you know, maybe you have been too hard on him. I mean, now, David told me about the time that the two of you sneaked off to see the Stones concert. <laughs> Weren't you about Billy's age? Well, I was different. Why? Because you didn't get caught? <laughs> now, David told me that was one of the best nights of his life. He has to know there are consequences for his actions. Well, of course, but it's Christmas. Can't you punish him another day? It doesn't happen like that. It's really not his fault anyway. What? If you made some real money, you could send him to private school, just oh, like our kids. For see, Brian, that's where wow. value mall yeah, comes into the picture. For oh, oh, Brian, I'm oh, 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 Money's not everything, Dave. I know. It's about your family and your home. Those are what are important. Yeah. Well, your house is falling apart. Your wife burns things. Your daughter's what? afraid of her own shadow. Don't your son is practically a juvenile delinquent. Time. At least I spend time with my family. I'm home. You haven't got a clue how to live. You're I'm hopeless. Working 18 hours a day and never seeing your family is not my idea of making a living. I knew this was a mistake. I knew you'd never appreciate what I was trying to do for all you. All right, all right, all right, all right. Let's just try to sit down and talk. Caroline, get JC. Right? We're out of here. If we hurry, we can be in Hawaii by morning. Jason, oh, come on, come on. Jason. You know, unfortunately, but... I have every right to bring a value mall to Greenwood Falls. What? This is my hometown, too, and if I want to come back home, I will. You want to move back here? Well, not now. Now, just the store, and then, well, whatever happens, happens. Fine. And if I want to join the community to try to stop you, then fine. 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 Merry Christmas. Fine. Fine. Ah, fine. Fine! 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 Dad. I'm sorry. I never meant to... It was my fault. I lost my temper. And don't get me wrong, you're still grounded for life. But what happened between my brother and I was... My brother and I... I could tell you everything would be okay tomorrow, but you'd never believe me. But even if things do look better in the morning, Billy, you gotta try to learn from today. And try not to make the same mistakes. I saw the old lady, Dad. Mrs. Patrick. The delivery from Christmas Eve. She was eating cat food. If I had delivered the tuna, she, she would have... buy the tuna because it's too expensive. She's got to eat. She's got to feed her cats. So I changed the labels. I put the cat food on the tuna. I give it to her, but she's too proud. She won't accept any charity. And when I deliver it to her, I tell her that I'll send her the bill, but I don't. And she forgets. Well, she's always been a good customer and a good friend. Yeah, but she doesn't buy anything. Well, you can't buy friendship, Billy. You don't have to spend money on someone for him to be your friend. Good night, son. Merry Christmas. to have mom and dad. I know. No. Some people don't even have anything, Sarah. Even on Christmas. I mean, mom and dad, man, they give us so much. Mom and dad help a lot of people, too. We should do something, too. What can we do? We're just kids. <laughs>
It's 11 p.m. Christmas night. It wasn't a Merry Christmas at the Ferguson home on Chester Street. Around 10 this morning, a fire sparked by a dry Christmas tree destroyed the family home and everything inside it. And early this Christmas morning, a young unidentified boy broke into the Ferguson home and, using fire extinguisher he just happened to be carrying, extinguished a burning Christmas tree before it had time to cause any damage to the home. This story goes to prove that the Christmas spirit is alive and well in Greenwood Falls. I'm Kendall Casey reporting. Excuse me, young lady, how did you finally find your way out of the forest? I don't know. We were huddled together crying, hoping someone would find us. And all of a sudden, this boy comes walking up to us and tells us to follow him. He gave us all homemade Christmas cookies. the world. It doesn't even matter how hard you try or what you do, you can't fix everything. More bad stuff keeps on happening. Talk to me, Henry. I can't. Well, I sure wish you would, because we're in this together. If he brings the story here, then we can't survive. Is that what you want to hear? Talk to him. Tell him how much keeping the store means to us. I did. No, you didn't. You told him how much it would mean to the community, but you didn't tell him. Do you want me to beg? Do you want me to beg my little brother to let me keep my store? No, That's what you're asking me to do, Molly. Well, then what do you want to do? Do you want to move? Do you want to leave this, this town where we grew up in this house where Billy and Sarah were born just because you're too proud to talk that to your little so brother? That is so unfair. Because I don't want to leave, Henry. I'm, I'm not stay. leaving. What are you doing up, Billy? I couldn't sleep. I wish I could fix things, Dad. You know, like the store and, and you and Mom. That's not your job, Billy. Your job is to be 13. Be the best 13 you can be. I'll work on the other stuff, okay? Yeah, but doesn't it ever bother you that you just you can't fix everything? No. I'll tell you about some advice I got from one of the smartest men I ever knew. It was my dad. He said, love your family and love your friends. Every once in a while, step outside yourself so you can really see those people that you care about. And do your best every day, and life will fall into place. What does that mean? It means I can't worry about those things I can't do anything about. I just have to love and protect my family the best I can. And your mom and your sister and you, you're my life. There isn't anything I wouldn't do to protect you. Yeah, but what about Uncle David? Dave wants to bring his story here. There may not be much I can do about it. I know that disappoints you. But maybe that's something that he has to do. No. I'm not disappointed in you. I love you, Dad. I love you too, son. Right now... I gotta go talk to your mom.
on your number one music station in Greenwood Falls. Sarah, that's cool. Hey, I didn't realize you still like dolls. Don't be in a hurry to grow up. <laughs> What'd you get, Dad? What'd you get, Mom? Oh, well, as a matter of fact, I... Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Book of Ireland. Oh, honey, these paints are gorgeous. Thanks. Thank you. Well, I... I miss watching you paint. You know, your mom is a wonderful artist. Mm -hmm. Well, I know you want to go there someday. Mm, as long as I can take you, too. Can I take these paints? Mm-hmm. And I got a basketball, which is just what I wanted. I'm not that good, but if I practice, I'll get better. All right, you guys just keep on opening your presents, and I'll be right back. Let's see. It's to you. To me? Mm -hmm. oh. Who's it from? Well. Oh, honey. Dad and your Uncle David, they, they used to deliver my groceries when they were kids. <laughs> my dad and Uncle David used to work together? They sure did. Right up until your grandpa died. And that happened? I don't really know. I guess they, uh... Oh, um, I'll be right back, Mr. Charmin. Good talking to you. I'd work hard for a car like that. How many hours a day would you say you'd put in? More than I can count, Billy. More than I can count. Come on, Jace. Out of the car. We're here. Glad you could come in, Caroline. I know it's not Hawaii, but my mom's a great cook and our families don't spend enough time together. Well, you're right, Billy. Merry Christmas. Hi, Jace. Merry Christmas, Billy. It is certainly not like I sit around eating bonbons all day. No, I drive JC to dance class and to tutors, and I do charity work. Yeah, but still, I can see how you want more. Well, I did love working. Making my own money made me feel really secure. Maybe you should go back to it. Oh, your Uncle David would never hear of that. Oh. Chin. It takes three things to play basketball. Practice, practice, practice. And you know, you're absolutely right, Dad. Okay. Take a shot. Yeah. It's a good try, but you gotta tuck in your elbow. Okay. Look. You look at the ball, you're the hoop. Tuck the ball, close your eyes. Picture the ball going in. Try it again. See, that was good. That was a good effort, son. Okay. Try it again. Get one of my old bikes out if you want to ride with Sarah. No, thanks. You can't exactly ride a bike in clothes like these. So you can borrow some jeans and a t-shirt for me. I only wear designer jeans. Those other jeans make me dizzy. So borrow some shorts. It's too cold. Can't ride a two-wheeler, can you? Dad said he would teach me. He got busy. I could 
teach you. Come on. Don't let go. I won't. Don't let go. I'm not. I won't. Hey, JC. Ha. I'm doing it. I'm raining alone. Do it. Sarah, look. I'm raining alone. Well, I know how I do it. Excuse me, I'm looking for a bracelet, says Diana in it. I uh, got you a present. Really? Why? Because I, I like you. I love it. I wanted one ever since I lost the one my dad gave me. That's the one your dad gave you. How did you find this? School lost and found. Thanks. You're welcome. Okay, okay, quiet, everybody. Quiet. The winner of the Jelly Bean Contest, with a guess of 2,456, is Terry Martin. Did it, son? Oh, you guessed it right. Oh, it's so funny you. What Silent night, holy night, all is calm. Snow began to fall on the first Christmas. And people everywhere learn the true meaning of Christmas. It's not about presents or money. It's about family and community, knowing your family, understanding who they are, appreciating them, and keeping them close. Christmas is about treating your community like members of your family, caring for one another. We all need to learn to do our best every day, and life will fall into place. I'm Billy from Jackson's General Store. My dad told me to tell you that you won our Christmas contest. Here's your prize. Oh, thank you, son. That's very sweet. And my mom also asked me to ask you if you could come to our house for a late dinner tonight. I, I wish I could, but look at my clothes and my hair needs fixing. <laughs> I just love makeup. Oh, you came. 
team. Why wouldn't I? I, I thought you hated Christmas. What? Impossible. Nobody hates Christmas. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Merry Christmas! Thank you. Merry Christmas! Thank you. Merry Christmas, Mr. Charmer. Any time. Any holiday. Mr. Charmer's Merry Christmas. Thank you. Can I offer you some eggnog? I don't see why not. Have a nice time. Thanks. Yeah, Mr. Charmer's. I would like you to meet Mrs. Patrick. Mrs. Merry Christmas. Patrick, it's Merry Christmas to you. What a lovely dress, very festive. Thank you. Nice work. Merry Christmas, honey. <laughs> Great party. Thank you. You know, I still love that. You sure you won't let me buy it? <laughs> Merry Christmas, David. <laughs> and she said, you know, the only thing I wish is that we could have some snow for Christmas. Well, in about 15 minutes, it started to snow, and it didn't stop for about four days. Oh, my God. <laughs> couldn't, couldn't see the house from the front. I bet you wish for that again one time. No. So, um, am I allowed to hug you in public? Merry Christmas, honey. Merry Christmas, Paul. Oh, I almost forgot. I got a present for you. For me? Yeah. Come on. <laughs> honey. Oh. Oh. Merry Christmas. could ever have. Oh. Me, me, me. <laughs> you. Yeah, me. Oh, no. Remember this, your first car? What a piece of junk. Uh, hey, what are you talking about? I love that car. You didn't seem to have any problem asking me to take you anywhere you wanted to go. Yeah, right. <laughs> what do we call it? The Chickmobile. Yeah. We drove it all the way to the mountains just to meet Debbie Jansen's cousin, remember? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That was your dad died. You moved to D.C. I sure missed working with you in the store. Yeah, well, it was your store. What are you... T he left it to both of us. I had dreams of my own. I wanted to run a different kind of store. Bigger... Better? I don't know. You just wanted to prove to Dad that you could run a store as well as I could. I was stupid. Dad was dead. That's right, Dave. Dad's dead. There's nothing left to prove anymore. I guess. You built a huge empire. Dad would have been so proud of you. I'm proud of you. Even if you do have your nails done. <laughs> when I was thinking of moving back home. Yeah, I know. But I gotta tell you again, I'm just not interested in working in that value mall. Oh, forget about the value mall. Something about this Christmas, being here together, it's made me realize how much I'm missing. I never see Caroline. I miss most of JC's childhood. I should just sell the whole chain. Actually, I'm thinking of coming back to work with you. With me? In the store. Making deliveries. <laughs> The chick mobile. <laughs> hey. Hey. I 
told you lately how proud I am of you. You try to teach your kids the things you think really matter, but you never know if they're listening. Thanks for listening, son. Sure, Dad. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, Dad. There's something under my bed. Can I sleep with you? There's nothing under your bed, Sarah. How do you know? Let's go and see. See? There's nothing to be afraid of. Look under my bed. There's nothing under your bed. Look and see. No way. It's too dark. Sarah, look under your bed. you like it? I love it, Billy. Thanks. No sweat. I think I'll sleep in here tonight. <laughs> okay. Merry Christmas, Billy. <laughs> Merry Christmas, Sarah. Sarah just wanted to watch the video of Christmas. <laughs> it's over. This was the best Christmas ever, wasn't it? I was very proud of you two yesterday. And you seemed to enjoy Christmas this year more than you have since you were a little boy. What was different this year? I guess I finally just got it. Got what? Well, Christmas. You know, the meaning of it. Us being here together, appreciating this. I can't wait till next Christmas. <laughs> 364 more days till the most perfect day in the world. Don't you just wish that it could be Christmas every day of the year? 